So you want to mend your manganda, the world serpent. First, ask yourself, why do you want to mend your manganda? He's super big, can even see over some walls. His ultimate is pretty unique. His teamfight game is pretty strong. He isn't affected by hard displacements. But before you choose to main him, it's good to know the cons of your Manganda. He's so big that it's hard to juke, and he takes in pretty much everything that's thrown at him. His CC can be a bit slow, it can be easy to cancel it out. Your Manganda is a Smite Norse Guardian. Smite has classified him as an average god, and I agree, I do find him pretty average. If you're an experienced Your Manganda player, or you just love playing him, feel free to leave any tips down in the comments below. In this guide, we're exploring Yomangunda in solo, support, jungle, and mid, going through his abilities, attack cancelling, combos, builds, counters, what not to do, and general combat tips. We'll be going through this guide from a conquest perspective, but don't worry, you can easily implement this guide into other game modes as well. With that, let's go through Yomangunda's abilities. First, let's talk about Yomangunda's basic attack. It's not a normal basic. Instead, it's a tick-based basic attack as shown here. If you watch the meter on the side here, the lower it falls, the slower the basic attack gets. With that in mind, you do not want to just hold down your basic attack button and let it fall to zero. It's actually more beneficial to stop basic attacking to let it recharge as it recharges pretty fast. To clear and damage with your Mangunda, what you want to do is basic to half, use an ability, basic to half again, use your ability. That's pretty much what you want to do with these basic attacks. It's extremely important you follow it, otherwise you will be having a lot of trouble when playing support and solo. Passive, immovable. Your Manganda is huge, so he's not affected by heart displacements. Your Manganda instead is dazed. When he is dazed, there is a fading slow and he will take increased damage for the duration. Any attack speed item reduces the cooldown rate of your Manganda's basic attack. Your Manganda's first ability, Venomous Haze. Yomanganda's 1 is a ground target. Yomanganda fires Noxious Spit at an area that deals damage. This will create a large toxic cloud. This field damages and slows enemies inside of it every second. Yomanganda can have a maximum of 9 clouds out at a time. Yomanganda's second ability, Consuming Bellow. Yomanganda's 2 is an area ability type. Yomanganda draws power from toxic clouds nearby when channeling. At the end of the channel, Yomanganda roars, dealing damage to all enemies. This will tremble and slow enemy gods by 30% for 1.5 seconds. Each cloud increases the size of his second ability and empowers him up to 3 times, while also dealing extra damage to enemies hit. Extra damage after the first instance is halved. While empowered, Yomanganda's basic attack fires at its fastest rate. This is his main damage, clear, and setup. I recommend having this ability on instant or quick cast. Yomanganda's third ability, Submerge. Yomanganda's three is an area damage and buff. Yomanganda submerges into the ground turning invisible. During this time, he moves faster and gains vision. Using your third ability under a toxic cloud will give you the ability to shoot two more toxic clouds as shown here. This is his main escape and setup. I recommend having this ability on instant cast. Yomanganda's ultimate, the World Serpent. Yomanganda's ultimate is a ground target ability type. Yomanganda prepares to enter into the world. He enlarges as he prepares an attack. This gives his ultimate a bit of delay. During this, he is vulnerable to damage. After selecting a target area, Yomanganda flies into the air, diving down and dealing damage to enemies in radius. When Yomanganda emerges and submerges during this ability, he knocks up enemies. With each submerge, he leaves behind a toxic cloud. This ultimate is great for distractions and setting up fights. This ultimate can also be used as an escape. Now let's get into the leveling priorities for Yomangunda's abilities. For the first 5 levels, at level 1, his 2. At level 2, his 1. At level 3, his 3. At level 4, his 2. At level 5, his ultimate. For jungling and support, you can put a point into your third ability instead of your first ability for early aggression at level 2. That also goes for mid. For leveling priority, his second ability for increased damage and bonus damage, his first ability for increased initial damage, cloud damage per tick and decreased cooldown, his ultimate for increased submerge damage and emerge crash damage, 
his third ability for increased damage. So basically, 2, 1, 4, 3. Attack cancelling for your Mangunda. I would say attack cancelling is not something you need to pay attention on your Mangunda. Combos for your Mangunda. Make sure to follow the formula I have given you earlier with his basic attacks, which is basically basic to half, use an ability, basic to half, use an ability. Remember that your third ability is both your escape and setup. Your ultimate can also be used as an escape if needed. You can use your first ability to set up the battlefield by zoning off areas as enemies in your first ability will be slowed and damaged. Your first ability does work directly with your second and third ability as well. Your second ability will be stronger and deal bonus damage. Your third ability will allow you to spit out two extra toxic clouds if you emerge under a toxic cloud. Your ultimate is situational. Use it before a team fight for zone and setup. Use it to chase or use for an escape. If you feel that the enemy cannot escape you, feel free to basics in between your abilities. But remember to let them recharge and to not use it to the point it's slow. You can use these combos without the use of your third ability as well. His main early combo, basic to half, one, basic to half, two, basic. This combo will help you clear and box other enemies early game. Other combos, one, three, two, basic, three, one, two, basic. Builds for your Mangunda. Builds always depend on what kind of enemies you're up against. My builds in this video are just a general guideline. You can adjust accordingly depending on your game and situations. As support and solo is included, builds will vary a lot depending on your game. For a jungle and mid build, Assassin's Blessing for jungle or Mage's Blessing for mid, Tier 1 of Chronos Pendant, Shoes of Focus for cooldown or Shoes of the Magi for pen, Finish Chronos Pendant, Spear of Desolation, Reindeer's Mask, Gem of Isolation, Soul Reaver. Other items you can build but not limited to are Spirit Rope for defense, Spear of the Mages for more pen, Divine Ruin if you need anti-heal, Shaman's Ring for more power and damage, Rod of Tahuti for more power and damage. For relics, Aegis with another relic that you or your team may need. For a support build, Guardian's Blessing, Reinforced Shoes, Gauntlet of Thebes, Sovereignty for physical defense or only Hunter's Guard for magical defense. You can pick up both. From there you could go Spirit Robe, Mantle of Discord, Shogun's Kasari, Midguardian's Mail, etc. For Relics, you would pick up what your team needs, Shell, Heavenly Agility, or Horrific Emblem. Thorns is also a nice relic to consider. For Solo, Warrior's Blessing, Shoes of the Magi, Breastplate of Valor for Physical Defense, or Genji's Guard for Magical Defense. You can pick up both. From there, you can consider but not limited to Stone of Binding, Celestial Legion Helm, Void Stone, Gem of Isolation, Soul Reaver, Spear of the Mages. For Relics, you generally would pick up Teleport and Thorns. If playing outside of Conquest, you can use any of these builds without the Blessing. As you can see, Yomangunda is just very flexible in terms of builds. Counters of Yomangunda Yomangunda's second ability is easily countered by specific crowd control. So for example, Stuns and Yomir's Freeze, could stop his second ability. This is due to having a long wind up time. It's not hard to juke your Mangunda's ultimate. Low defense. Playing your Mangunda as a damage god can be quite challenging. This is due to him being so big, he can easily be hit by everything. It's not easy to juke as your Mangunda. Beads and Magi's Cloak counter his second ability, third ability's knock up, and ultimate's knock up. What not to do as your Mangunda? Do not ignore your basic attack meter. Do not use your basic attacks if the meter is at rock bottom, unless the enemy is at extremely low health and you would just be able to get him. General combat tips for your Mangunda. Use your third ability to find stealth gods such as Loki, Alquang, Morrigan, etc. You can use your ultimate for travel purposes, like helping a teammate on another lane and you want to get there quickly. If against a solo with CC that can cancel out your second ability while clearing, try and bait it out before using your clear. And that is all for the Yomangunda guide. If you would like to request a god guide or simply just to support me, you can find a coffee donation link in the description box below. Let me know what god you would like to make next in the comments. Subscribing and likes would be super rad 
clicking the bell really helps me out. I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!